Hey guys, Nick Young here from Seller Tradecraft. And in this video, it's really exciting. I'm actually gonna show you how to spy on your competition and find their actual suppliers. Now, before we get started, I want you to first remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can get the latest updates and tricks on everything related to Amazon Private Label and Amazon FBA. So this hack is gonna be for more advanced sellers. It's gonna be something that a lot of sellers don't actually want you to know about at all. In this video, you'll learn how to actually find the suppliers tied directly to your competition. By simply having a business name or having a trademark name, you can actually work backwards and find the exact suppliers that your competition is using to produce their products. And as an added bonus, if you actually stay till the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make it so that your own company doesn't appear in these records so that no one can actually find your suppliers when they actually do the research that I'm gonna show you today. Okay, so let's start with the first thing that you have to know. The first thing you have to know is that the US Customs and Border Protection actually makes all records public for people to see. Unless you actually specify that you want this information hidden, it's gonna be available for anyone to see if they actually do the research involved to try to find it. So this is how it works. Every time a product is imported from overseas, something called a bill of lading is created, and that record document is actually put and made public. So that means that you can actually look up every single time someone imports from overseas into the US and find exactly who their suppliers are. Now, once again, you're probably asking, okay, if this is the case, how do I make sure that my products aren't shown up in the search? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that once we go through all the information I'm gonna present today. So I'm gonna teach you how to find your competitor supplier. Now, let's first start off with a product example. I found this random product. It's a crab multi-tool, okay? It looks like it's just a scissor, bottle opener, all in one tool. And I wanna use this as an example, just so we can get started. I can show you just the power of the hacks that I'm gonna show you today. Now, first off, let's work backwards. Now, they say that their company is called Kickerlin. It, could, it very well could be the case that they own the trademark Kickerlin. And just because it's Kickerlin, the trademark, it doesn't mean that they're importing under this name, right? However, if someone files a trademark, that means that they have to file under a business entity, which means that that record is gonna be publicly available. So let's say that this is a trademark Kickerlin. We're gonna do a quick Google search. Let's see if their actual business name matches up to this exact same thing. So we'll type in Kickerlin trademark into Google. And since all, all trademark information is publicly available, you can click here. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that the party name right here is Kickerlin Design Inc. So this is the actual name of the importer, the company that imported this product, Kickerlin Design. So it hasn't changed much, which means we have more than enough information to go by in order to do a reverse search on their supplier. Okay, so the first tool I'm gonna to introduce you to is a tool called USA Import and Export Data. So now that we have this information, we can plug this in. So just a little background about it. It's a website from an Indian company that specializes in market analysis reports. So they basically record all information possible from imported items that land in the US. And because they work as a data processing company, they analyze and provide all the information from imported products to their clients. And they actually ensure that this is a way to help them with the decision for their business. So, of course, this being an Indian company, they won't give you the data from Indian suppliers, but that's okay because Chinese suppliers are the majority of what most Amazon sellers use. Okay, so now that you know about this website, let's go ahead and, and plug this in. Let's see if we can find actual import records just by implementing the Kickerland as a keyword in the buyer's name. Remember, the buyer is the importer. So we're going to pull a quick search. All right. Boom, you can see this. It looks like they're importing a ton, a ton of items. Okay, there's so much information here. Now, let's go ahead and drill this one step further. You can actually type in even more information. I don't know how much we're gonna get here since this isn't a paid plan, but let's go ahead and see what we can do. So we can type in um, tool. All right, there you go. Now you can see there are three separate records that pull up. One is called an oil jug kit. This is Huckleberry Crab Stick. It could very well be one of these. We'd have to see more information in order to verify, including the exporter and importer information. However, this gives you a sense of just barely scratching the surface of how much information you can get by just doing a quick search on the various websites that are available. Now, in terms of US data, there are a couple different options when it comes to pricing. So they have three pricing tiers. If you were to subscribe, they have a cheap one, which is $30 a month. 
and that allows you to download up to uh, 15,000 shipments every single month. So that's more than enough that you need to go ahead and you know get that information. They also have the gold plan, which increases. I would say most people only need the silver plan, so it's a good place to start. And I think it's if you're stuck in the product selection phase or you don't know what supplier to go with, this is a great way for you to actually validate your product ideas. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into another product, okay, called Pangeva. Now, this is a tool right here, and it is, I would say, probably a little more advanced. It provides a little more information, but again, it requires a subscription. But it works in a very similar manner. You know, just like the first website, Pangeva is specialized in basically gathering global market intelligence, and it gives you a crazy amount of data from the global supply chain. You'll get insights from companies at every stage of their supply chain with no limits, just based on whatever paid plan you have. So let's go ahead and run this search once again. Let's see what kind of different information we can get. So I'm gonna type in Kickerland. And boom, look at this. Now we can confirm that the actual importer is Kickerland here. This is the exact company. All right, Kickerland Design, you can see this here. And you can see there's a bunch of stuff that's being imported. And you'll notice that Right here, you can see all the countries of origin. You can see the shipper. So this is presumably the companies that they're they're sourcing from. And this is incredibly valuable information. So let's let's see if we can actually pull up the product. I'll type in crap. Okay, no go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so I think it's gonna require going into just a little more detail. Um, you can see there's an elephant corkscrew. So it's a good chance since this is an animal product, right? And they sell an elephant corkscrew, there's a good chance that this is the same supplier right here. So this one, Yang Jiang Wins Industries and Trad. Um, it's likely that this is probably the company that they're sourcing from. Now, you might be asking, what are the main differences in the plans between Pangeva and Import Genius? Pangeva is gonna be a little more expensive. Pangeva starts at $150 a month, but that gives you about a year of historical US data access and unlimited searches. The next plan is about $300 a month, and with this, you can get anywhere from one to two years backwards of historical US data. So it just really depends on how old your competitor is and how far back you know, their sourcing goes. It's unlikely that you're gonna to need to go further than one year back if they're currently selling on the Amazon platform. But you know, just like with the first plan, you'll be able to do all of this you know, that you see here in Pangeva with US import and export. But with Pangeva, I think you actually get to see a little more information than what US import provides. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the next source of information. And this is another site that's called Import Genius. So I'll pull this up right here. They track shipping activity all around the world and give you exact information of what's happening in the import and export business. So very similar function, but the pricing tiers are gonna be a little different. It has three paid plans. The first one is $99 a month, which is a limited plan with just three months for you to use their services. And then there's also $200 a month for a whole year of US data access and $400 a month if you want to get the premium tier, which is unlimited. So, you know, you get a lot of different price points across these three different services. I really like Pangeva with the amount of detail that they give. I personally have not used Import Genius, but once again, all of these sites will be very useful for you being able to find this information from your suppliers. All right, so let's dive into, beyond just these three tools that I talked about, let's dive into another method that you can use beyond website data to actually spy on your competitors. And the way you do this is simply just through Google. And you can do this by literally typing bill of lading, all right? And that means that you're looking for an import document that always appears when the, a product lands. So we're gonna go ahead and type in bill of lading, kicker land, and boom. You can see right here, it pulls up in a bunch of websites. Okay, so um, it looks like it pulls up in the first one and we can pull this up right here, sample bill of lading, and you can get this data. And if you wanted, again, another one of these websites, there's pricing here, but yeah, you can pull up their information of where they're sourcing from. And once again, boom, they have a bunch more shipment details. So it actually gives you quite a bit of information even if you don't pay for the, the price tiers. If you're lucky enough where the first bill of lading shows up and it's the same product, you can actually find, boom, the name of their sourcing company or their supplier right here. All right guys, now that I've shown you how to actually do a search and find your competitor suppliers by doing just this simple trick of finding their bill of lading, 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and dive into how you can actually hide your products from the competition. Okay, so this is what I promised you at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna follow through. What you're gonna first wanna do is you're gonna first wanna Google what's called the confidential treatment of vessel manifest data. And what you'll see as your first option is a government website. And what you'll do is you'll find an email that actually reaches out to this department in the government and you're gonna reach out to them and say, hey, this is my company name, this is our organization, we import under this name and I don't want any of my records to be publicly available. Now, it might take a little time for them to actually recognize it. What you'll do is over, let's say a period of two weeks, you'll get a response back from the government which says, okay, they've acknowledged your request and now they're gonna go ahead and fulfill and make sure that none of your import records are publicly available. So another thing that you can do is you can actually use two separate names, one for your business, which you don't reflect on your Amazon store and a different name for your Amazon store entirely. They don't have to be the same. Now keep in mind, if you have a trademark, let's say you wanna get access to brand registry or any of those other features, you're gonna need a trademark. In which case, that trademark is gonna be tied directly to your business name, unless you have it tied to a separate entity. Now, if you have a trademark, it's gonna be easily traceable back to you, which is why I suggest that you go with the first option to actually reach out to the Customs and Borders the department and make sure that they don't have your company imports publicly available. That's probably the most foolproof way of making sure that you can't be found. All right, guys, so hopefully that's all the tricks that I have for today. Hopefully you found this valuable. You know, I, we have a student who actually has been stuck on product research herself, and I shared this tactic with her, and it's been really helpful for her to go ahead and move forward on actually making a decision on selecting a product. I hope you guys watching this find this as valuable as she did. So the question now is, are you ready to actually take all the information that I've overlaid to you today and actually take action? If so, leave comments below and let me know what you plan to do for your next steps moving forward. And remember, you can always learn more tips and tricks around how to sell on Amazon by simply subscribing to our channel. You'll learn things like how to find a supplier in Alibaba and how to pay your supplier in China. These are all incredibly valuable things that we're making available for free as information for anyone looking to get started right now today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.